Hey everyone, Josh here. I'm just gonna do a short video on VCDS or Vagcom uh, tweaks or hidden features that you can unlock on your 08 or 04 to 08 Toregs. I'm doing this in my 06 V10. Um, the four that I'm going to do are disabling the daytime running lights. I'm going to enable the passing beams and fog lights to stay on with the high beams. I'm going to do the turn signal flash to go from three flashes to five. And last, I'm going to do the seat belt chime. There, it's a fairly quick and easy thing to do on uh, uh, VCDS. So we'll go ahead and do it. So first we're gonna do the seat belt chime. So you're gonna click the control module. Go to 17. You go to coding and then the little box will come up to tell you different options so what we're going for is seatbelt warning active so the fourth digit in be minus two that'll deactivate it sorry there five do it coding's accepted you're good to go so what we're changing here, so this is your daytime running lights, so headlights on, fog lights on, that's your high beams. So what it changes to is, so that is with your daytime running, running lights off, that is your low beams, fog lights, or sorry that's your low beams, that's your high beams, fog lights stay on with both of them. For this one, you're going into controller nine. You're going to hit coding. You can go to coding helper and you can arrow down through different options, which this one you want to disable daytime running lights. So uncheck it and uncheck the driving lights when you hit exit. That'll change it automatically. So what it changes is your last digit from a nine to a six. You hit do it and now accepted your coding. So you're good to go. The turn signal changes this to this. So this is on the controller 9 as well, except you go to adaptation for this one. Click your comfort turn signals. So from factory it's 3, you can change it up to 5. Hit test, save. It's easy as that. Thanks for watching my video. Um, I hope you find these few tweaks as handy as I do. In the next few weeks, I'm going to be removing the V10 TDI. I'm going to be doing a cam replacement as well as some miscellaneous maintenance while I'm in there. I'm doing this in my garage without a hoist, so this will be there'll be a few videos for do-it-yourselfers. Um, so if this interests you, subscribe and follow along, and keep an eye out for the next video.